My name is Yumi. I'm from Ohio. So even though we don't have like huge uh, Asian uh, population like in New York or in uh, California, but everybody knows Ohio is very important for the for the election. <laughs> so for me personally, I came from uh, mainland China and I came here for engineering, and uh, I got involved with the community. Uh, when I, my uh, my kid went to Chinese school, I start um, serve our community by uh, uh, helping organizing the Chinese school, uh, Westlake Chinese Culture Association. Then we start work with other Asian uh, organizations to uh, promote like um, health uh, lifestyle, uh, fitness. And uh, uh, with the uh, once I start working with other. Uh, Asian uh, organization, we start uh, like go out of the local area, then work like statewide with, uh, uh, we um, funded a, a Chinese, uh, Ohio Chinese American Association, and we become part of a Papa family, uh, a Papa Ohio uh, chapter, and we work with um, other national organization, learn from everybody. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, I thought you were volunteering. <laughs> they were here yesterday. We're trying to get everybody who was not here yesterday oh, first. Not here. Okay, not here yesterday. Excellent. Thank you. So both of you are going to share? Yeah. Excellent. So I will give you two minutes. Hi, my name is Cecilia Finangnolf, and this is Sam. We're from Long Beach, California. Where are my Southern California people at? <laughs> uh, but we're here to represent TOFA. Um, we, um, our purpose is to enhance and pr promote the wellness of our Pacific Islanders, especially the youth. And um, some of the things we do is we um, we um, we support higher um, education for our youth and. Sit, oh, sorry, I have this slideshow on my phone, but we have the, um, yeah, we promote higher education, community leadership opportunities, civil rights awareness, and cultural arts. This is in Sacramento, California. We just barely moved there, but um, we don't really know much about it because we're really new. We just graduated, and um, we're happy to here to um, learn about the stuff that, like, this um, civic leadership USA and Sam here, he's been here in Sacramento for two years, and he's been in TOFA, and he could share some opportunities he did with them. Um, good morning, everyone. Like she said, my name is Sam, and um, I just, I'm a recent graduate of Franklin High School, and um, TOFA, has really, TOFA has really helped me uh, in my last year of high school, because, um, uh, especially because my auntie, uh, she kind of runs the, um, the organization in South Sacramento, and her main goal, of course, is to help the the future generation of Pacific Islanders. And so um, we have meetings like every Friday. And um, there's so many kids that like to come because uh, there's so many things we get to learn about. Um, there's so many political things that we get to learn about that we don't really understand or learn about at school. And because uh, we learn about political things, um, it helps us, it helps like, helps our mind, like, uh, it helps our minds grow about political things and presidential things that we don't really know about. And Tofa has really helped me, like, um, Tofa has really helped me become more interested in the political world. And thank you. Wait, wait. One second. Before you two leave the stage, um, there's something I, I need the audience to help with. Who here is really good with doing, like, the loud whistle? Excellent. And who here is good with like stomping their feet? Okay. And the rest of you, if you know it well, I'm well when I make this motion to you. Can you come back on stage for a second? I just want to say how unbelievably impressed we are that you guys came here, you're spanking brand new. And I mean, really, fresh out of what, high school? I mean, honestly, the thing that every person in this room would probably say to you is how much they would aspire 
to have young people in their community with that kind of passion and the confidence to come and stand on stage and do exactly what you just did. So on behalf of everybody here, we'd like to thank you for modeling that behavior. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is Gurjitender Singh Randhawa. Anybody can pronounce my name? <laughs> my name is Gurjitender Singh Randhawa. No, nobody can pronounce it. I know that. <laughs> uh, I'm also an Asian guy from India. Uh, do you know about the Sikh community? Yes. Yeah. You know that. It's good for me. Good for us. Uh, I'm here in the U.S. for the last 23 years. Uh, by profession, I am a journalist. I have my own newspaper called uh, Punjab Mail USA. It's a language newspaper. It's in Punjabi language because we people, we speak like Punjabi. So that's a Punjabi language newspaper that uh, spread all over California. So I'm also involved in uh, local uh, politics. So right now I, am, I have two departments in Elk Grove City. Uh, one is a multicultural committee and the other one is history preservation committee. So Mr. Glenn, he asked me uh, to join this uh, uh, conference, civic leadership, that's why I am here. So thank you very much, everybody, so to join me over here. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> I love it when people take the deep breath. <laughs> For you. Okay, I'm uh, Ting Ting Wang. I'm HP's wife, although we say our last name differently, because I go by the Chinese really pronunciation uh, Wang, and he goes by Wang, you know. <laughs> uh, but I mean, anyway, so you could judge me whether I'm his better half or worse half. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I've been involved with whatever you say, 80-20, uh, a papa, or clear vision, I mean, any movement, more, movement or organization that HP is being involved. I'm basically, you know, behind it. I may not be a major, um, I may not run a major part of the organization or, you know, present anything, but I can really say I'm, I'm a strong, uh, supporters of all this. Um, anything he needs to do, I just say, go ahead, okay? <laughs> so, and uh, I'm always in the background doing all the cooking, you know, um, uh, cleaning, or prepare anything he needs to. And I really admire you guys are so um, energetic and all. all you know, working so hard. So anything I can help, please call me. I'm a retired old senior citizen. Have nothing to do but to help you. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, I, I believe all supportive spouses should get all the extra praise and thanks because really it benefits all of us. So thank you. Woo. Is there anyone else in the room who has not yet introduced themselves either by presentation or by introduction? Ah, CC. Yeah. Let's, let's welcome CC to the stage. CC. Introduction. You don't. We want, we want everything you've ever done in three minutes. <laughs> you, you give seniors double time, right? Yeah. 
but uh, uh, speaking seniors that, uh, yeah, see good, my good friends here. Um, this, this is uh, what uh, is historical. And, uh, and, is, and is CLUSA, Civic Leadership uh, USA is founded by Sandy and uh, uh, Anthony and uh, the, chap, the, the, the directors uh, for the purposes to uh, um, uh, rally the entire U United States API, API diverse communities together to big, show a big voters turnout and the candidate turnouts and uh, um, to, uh, in 2020 presidential election. That's really the, the short term uh, goal of this, this uh, particular uh, retreat. The long term goal is continue to build uh, the Asian Americans political em empowerment uh, in the country started somewhere 20, 30 years ago from Silicon Valley uh, by Sandy Chin Kong Khan, those entrepreneur guys who started this uh, uh, Vision America and they spread out in the Bay Area doing the Kappa. Joe Wan, those guys doing those, and the CBC, Albert Wan, Henry Yin, those guys back 25 years ago, and uh, Michael um, Chan with uh, Polly. It's the same group that they started this whole thing 25 years ago. And uh, they had, uh, I was an uh, older man doing hamburger business, engineer and become a hamburger guy. I just met a foster Asian immigrants come to America to build a new life. And uh, uh, they were dragged in by them to help uh, to support them. So I was inspired and uh, learned so much from them. They asked us to find a national foundation, we called our Papa, to take their programs, their, their missions, uh, visions to the national level. Uh, 18 years later, that, and that was 18 years ago when there was zero elected AP Americans uh, in, in Sacramento. And so uh, 18 years now, we're able to have 25 chapters. Thanks so many of you coming around the country here. Uh, by volunteers, and uh, the idea is to build arm, grassroots local armies where the Asians feel comfortable among your friends, your relatives, your family, and your co-workers, whoever you are, start from there. And so forever, yeah, I still have six minutes, so hold your, hold your, sign, hold your sign down, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, and uh, so I just want to tell you, it's not about me, seriously. Uh, it's about you, about us, especially you. Uh, this 30 years generation passed. Uh, Sandy gets the, close to my age and about 30 years younger than me. Everybody else is uh, 10, 30 years younger than me, including HP and uh, Joe Wan, those guys, and uh, Victoria, those the 20 years younger than me, to Victoria is. Yes. And, but the point is that uh, we're at the point uh, in our generation uh, to have uh, try our best to only not to build a better America, but they want to be much better. The whole idea of better America is, is to bring equality to AP Americans so you can have equal field, uh, the playing field to compete in the future. And that's really our wishes. That's what uh, the so USA is about today's retreat. It's, it's really you. We're here for you, uh, for diverse new immigrant of you or your children. Uh, in that, today, that uh, through all the good work, that your work, will be able to elect 20 uh, API Americans to Sacramento with 17 legislators, three constitutional officers, and we'll continue, we'll, we'll have a gov we'll have governor's uh, candidates who uh, fought number four. We wanted him to be number two, Jiang Chang. But that's good, the good stuff, good beginnings. Same as Andrew Yang, who will speak to you, who will speak to you for lunch, for, for president. It's all continuous. HB, you're cutting, uh, CC, you're cutting into my three minutes. Uh. Yeah, okay. So, so how's about 30 seconds and then I come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, okay. Just <laughs> okay. Tell you what. While you uh, could you could you not interrupt, please? Okay. Let me just. Okay. Say, okay. All right. Interrupt. All right. Yeah. Relax, young man. Okay. Okay. Don't be mechanical, political. Okay. S slow down. Yeah, but the point is that uh, um, that's why I'm very thank thankful for the uh, vision and uh, the um, good foundation built by Sandy Shin Kung Khan, those folks, and Vision America, everybody else in the, Sacram in, in the Silicon Valley. We're fortunate that we have so many great people who volunteer at times in the past 30 years, especially the last 18 years, to build structured organization programs. So all the young generation of you can participate and take leadership around the country to rally really fast for 2020 so we can make a difference in this upcoming, not on presidential, but at the local, state, national level that has been happening lately. So again, thank you so much. Please continue your good work and uh, um, um, we'll be behind you all the way. Thank you. Cece, that's terrific. Um, that's what in Congress would be called a leadership minute. Because if you're like the speaker, you, you ask for a minute and you can come up and talk for as long as you want. And uh, I just want to say hi, I'm David Wu. A very brief story, uh, CLUSA. Um, relevant to this, uh, you know, uh, Chase Bank was incorporated over 200 years ago as a water company in New York City. And uh, I helped incorporate, or I did incorporate, CLUSA uh, in 2013 in Washington, D.C. as an organization to promote good relations around the Pacific Rim. And at that time, it was called Pacific, Va uh, Pacific Vision Foundation. So it has gone through an evolution and now it's a terrific organization holding a conference like this. And it's really, as CC said, all about you guys to help uh, get more Asian Americans involved in public affairs. And I think that um, it's, uh, for the next set of years, it is so absolutely crucial that more people get involved and that you be the process of recruiting more people. And I will uh, help you as much as I can or as, uh, whatever, uh, Sandy or um, Anthony asked me to do. Uh, I used to play more of a role, but now I primarily do a political set of activities, uh, which we also coordinate, which is very, very separate from CLUSA. And if anyone wants to talk with me about that, I'd be delighted to do so. Thank you very much for an opportunity to say hello. Awesome. Okay, we've got a couple more introductions. I'm, I'm. Who are the people who are leaving? What is this? Yes, this is this is the big moment to take <laughs> to take the stage. Excellent. So everybody, so I came here yesterday, but I, uh, I didn't speak, introduce myself yesterday, but yeah, by this chance, I introduced me and my background uh, from Washington State, uh, Redmond, Washington. Uh, our organization is named the Washington State Chinese Community Coalition. What we do is we just totally uh, grassroots. Um, the idea is this. So when people need help, they try to find the, the helper from the same community. Then somebody just called me and said, hey, um, uh, I, I want to just uh, divorce my current husband. <laughs> that just the start. Some people try to take suicide. And also Amazon employee jumped over from the, the high floor. So that's kind of tiny thing. We start to build the, the local community. Eventually, we found so the community need us as the leaders or servers. So we also um, uh, provide like a pl platform uh, um, as uh, say all USA, UCA, a Papa need some local connections to to all the way down to the roots. 
So that's our position. So we 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 feel like it's very comfortable to serve as a hub or connections to the national level to the root. So glad to meet all of you. And if you need anything, we can do and we can help in Washington State. Let us know. Thank you. So I didn't get a chance to introduce myself yesterday, um, but I'm going to do this really quick, visually as well, so you get the big picture. Our vision, our strategies, what we want. I'm the guy who helps people from here to here, and I'm very lucky to be part with Apolly to do that for our leaders in our community and the grassroots organizations, right?、Um, so it's a very big blessing and an honor, and not many people get to brag like to get a chance to do this. And to make it simple and short, and what's my name? Anthony Lay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here, let me. Let me give it to Anthony. Perfect. Perfect timing.、Um, so, Don, are you ready to present? Or,、uh, well, maybe later this afternoon. Let me do this because、um, Sandy. Um, you have the honor to introduce the presidential candidate.、Uh, Andrew just just arrived, so、uh, he's just outside. Oh, he's in in a okay two minutes. So why don't I just uh, uh, talk a little bit?、Uh, I think it's just the、uh, it's a、uh, it's very good to.、Uh, To see you again today, and then I saw some new faces today, and that's a welcome to this、uh, get together. It's very very important.、Uh, yesterday we have a wonderful、uh, gathering, and then it is the culmination of、uh, very hard work、uh, by all all of you that participated, and I think especially uh, uh, <coughs> Anthony Ang that he's worked so hard. For it, but、uh, but somehow,、uh, I I just find myself is a very impatient person, and then the、uh, and then the impatient is us. How could we not moving forward fast enough? And then the、uh, I get、uh, I get so excited、uh, when I driving, and then that loaded up、uh, a lot of anger against uh, Anthony uh, Inc, which is not really.、Uh, Warranted, and then my anger continue、uh, with the beginning of this breakfast because I see we are not moving fast enough, and then people just、uh, console me, say that say hey we're trying as hard as we can, but on on the other hand is this a lot of times without a sense of urgency it will be very very difficult to move forward because we are really trying to. Over, <coughs>、uh, catch up, and then we are facing very high bars, and because there are a lot of things, a lot of current is against us to swim up.、Uh, again, current is very difficult, and then we may not even succeed. So without that sense of urgency, I would say, I mean, sometimes you explode, and I think it's us.、Uh, there is a sense of urgency、uh, right here. Uh, with so much energy here, and with so much、uh, effort that everybody are here, it, it's because if we do not move forward fast, we're wasting a lot of、uh, time and resources here. We must move forward because it's not a celebration, but rather a takeoff for the next step. So without that sense of urgency, it's very difficult. So therefore. I I just feel kind of exploding. So how could we use this kind of en positive energy to move forward and see some real good result? We need to build from the grassroots up. We need to have a very deep rooted situation. So therefore, all the plants will grow because of this deep root. So therefore, in such case, if I am a little bit offensive against anybody, I apologize. But On the other hand, is us. 
Even those things, I, I, I feel mild outside, but some inside I was burning. So I think that burning is important for everybody. So therefore, if I offended anybody, I apologize right now. So therefore, basically, the important thing is there's a sense of urgency right now. Oh, sorry about that. And then the, uh, uh, the reason I come, in, uh, come on stage is just, uh, I was asked to introduce our lunch speaker. And Andrew is here, and then uh, I spent some time with him uh, prior to this meeting. And then the, uh, I, I can only say that the, uh, my connection with Andrew is uh, my college uh, roommate at UC Berkeley, uh, Hu Xiaolo, and his brother is Hu Banbi. I believe Hu Banbi was a uh, uh, graduate uh, schoolmate uh, with Andrew's father. So therefore, basically, uh, for, for that, I, I can claim I'm uh, one generation older. So, uh, and, and then Andrew and I have a lot of similar, similarity uh, in it. Uh, um, the, the thing that he uh, <clears throat> is think like an entrepreneur and then the, um, act like an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs are things that if traditional thing doesn't work, you want to make a change. You want to make it better. You want to try and then really do it diligently to make things happen. And then I think it's very important. Wow, my goodness. Uh, I, put it this way. I think, they, they, I, I think the light is encouraging me to do a song and dance right now. <laughs> uh, so, well, well, anyway, in preparation, maybe we are, uh, uh, Maybe they, uh, they want uh, Andrew to come up and, and sing and dance. <laughs> but, but anyway, I think it's the important thing is this. This is the spirit of the United States. Because the United States is really a, a land of opportunity. That we really see the opportunity. And the opportunity means that when we look back, Right now, the most valuable company that leading the United States is the high technology. Is that we just create a new paradigm so that people can really get together and enjoy that paradigm. That change, the life is changing. And then because of this, look at it. Besides of the resource com uh, company in this world, like fossil fuel companies like Exxon, Mobile and Shell and those companies and also the big banks, the largest organizations, the most valuable companies are all created and, and get the new opportunity and make, take the leadership of the whole world. And that is how Americans are great right now and then we are holding on that, uh, that edge over anybody in the world and then we need fresh ideas. We need people who understand not only the past, improve the past, we need people to understand the future. And then I think it's very, very important. Among the Asian Americans, we are the more progressive in this area. And among, <coughs> among us, we need somebody to lead us into the future that we make America great and make America continue, continue to be great because we know, we, we foresee the future, we take the opportunity of the future, and then we'll give the opportunity to everyone. And then we'll continue to let Americans to lead the, the world that way. And then we have somebody who can lead us continuously on that. And then Andrew Yang. 